Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to create material masters using special transaction codes. Normally we use MN01 to create materials in SAP, but in SAP there are special material codes to create a finished good, to create a self finished good, to create raw material. For the different different material types, uh, there are some different T codes. So I will start with a finished good material. Mm. So this is my SCP screen and this is a web view that's why the interface is a little bit different. So here if you know the transaction you can directly go there or else you can go to the SAP menu and from the menu go to logistic material management and here material master create special. So here you can see there are different T codes for the different material types raw material MMR1 MMB1 for the same finished product likewise you can see even for the non elevated material trading materials there are different different equals so today i'm going to create a finished good material code using mmf1 if you know the transaction you can directly type the transaction in your search uh, window and you can go there okay. so this is quite uh, similar to the mm01 transaction code and uh, difference is when you come here you can see the material type is already filled with the standard SAP finished good material type available right but in mm01 you have to see like this this comes empty right so you mean the material uh, you can give a, any name any number you want if you have configured uh, to use external number in so this system is configured to use external numbering so i can type uh, any 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 name i want so i'll give uh, just a name right then you have to select in the industry sector so my industry sector is mechanical engineering and <coughs> finished good product type right and then from copy from here uh, this is for if you have already created material in your system you can put that material here and then you can create the material using the copy from option this is very easy because most of all most of the fields are copied from the copy from material and you have to change if you need a change so i'm going to use already created material in my system right. then if you press enter you have to select the views you want to create this material right because you are <coughs> creating a finished good material code you need basic data one basic data two you need sales because you are going to sell this finished good material right and <coughs> mrp1 mrp2 mrp P3, MRP4, advanced planning, and those are optional. Work schedule because you are going to create production orders. And then I select accounting one, accounting two, costing one, costing two. If you have quality management, then you have to select this one. If you have warehouse management, you have to select this one. Right? But for me, these views are enough. If you if you press this default setting, <coughs> it will be default for your use ID. Then I have to select organizational levels, right? So here, copy from this appears because I choose copy from option, right? So enter copy from values. In your system, these values will be different, right? This is the plant and the storage. Storage location you want to create, sales organization, and sorry, make this one default as well. Then I select continue. Right now, we are here. You have to give a description for your material. Universal remote. And then you have to select the base field of measure. These mock fields almost similar to MM01, but 
I'll give a brief only on the important fields, right? You have to fill the gross weight and net weight of your product if you know, and you have to select a material group and division, of course, if you know, <coughs> and then the basic data group. Uh, normally, you don't need to fill any value. Then the sales of data one is important because you select because you are going to create a finished good material call. Here I put the delivery plan 1000. This is not uh, mandatory but if you put this then this plant will automatically pick when you create a sales order using this finished good material call. And you have to enter the, the tax classification and that's it. And this is true, nothing much important. And in the sales general, it is very important to uh, fill this transaction group and the loading group. Otherwise, uh, you will get errors during sales order creation. Availability check I select individual requirement, and that is. Another one called collective recovery. I believe you know the difference between those two. Yeah. <clears throat> Individual requirement in the sense if you create a one two sales orders, you get requirement sales order wise. If you select collective requirement, you get requirement collective but for both the sales orders, one requirement, maybe one plan. Then in the MRP1, you have to select the MRP type, right? And you can select uh, MRP controller if you know any. I'm going to blank that one. And the lock sizing procedure, yes, there are different lock sizes, right? Different, different one, and you have to select purchasing groups as well if you know. <coughs> so in this system, uh, uh, MRP controller is mandatory, and then in the MRP two procurement type, I select E in-house production because I do the production. If it is a raw material, you have to select F. Okay. Schedule margin key in production storage location. This one, whatever the value you enter here, it will automatically appear in your production order. <coughs> right. I'm not going to explain all the fields, right? And this is MRP3 and uh, MRP4 view in the MRP3. So I think I'll this strategy group. It's like this. How you do the production? Is it based on make to order or is it based on make to stop? And there are different 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 other strategies as well. Right? So if you are producing make to order, you have to select make to order right? I kept it back, then it will consider make to stop. And then the work scheduling. And so these production supervisors, production scheduling values. So if you have these values, you can fill those things. And then in the cost accounting one, valuation class is very important. This based on this one, all the GS will be mapped. Okay. And then price control. No. <coughs> For the finished good material, we use standard price, but it is not a must. Sometimes there are some scenarios where you have to select with V, moving average price for the finished goods as well. Uh, but we use standard price here, then we have to do a product cost estimate. Uh, so, you price anyway, you have to calculate using a different T code, but here I can do a value. And then in the accounting to this and the costing one. Keep these two fields tick with quantity structure and the material origin if you are creating a finished good material. Okay. And the costing two, you can see 
all the values are already picked. So that's it. This is how you create a finished good material using a special transaction code MMF1. So thank, you, thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon as well. Thank you. Bye bye.